I was a giant pumpkin grower before I became a sculptor. Uh, one day I, we were taking seeds out and I had a giant knife and I thought to myself, well, gee, they're pumpkins, someone should carve one. And they said, yeah, go ahead. So that was at the Indiana State Fair in 2001. And I've been carving ever since. Uh, as a matter of fact, at the fair, they asked me how long I'd been carving and looked at my watch. I said about an hour now. And they said, no, professionally, about an hour now. So uh, it got started there. Uh, the next year they brought in professional sculptors from uh, Washington State, uh, who I'm very good friends with still today, uh, and that started my career. I do this actually as a second job. Uh, I do it because I enjoy it. I've always been an artist all my life. Uh, when the pumpkin carving came along, uh, people wanted to pay me to do it. I enjoyed doing it, and I thought, you know what, why not? I've had so many great opportunities with this. I've, I've had opportunities even across seas that I've had to turn down, but by far the greatest one that I've done is carving for Bellagio in Las Vegas. In Bellagio, they have a conservatory that they have giant pumpkins. They have different fall the different themes each season. And uh, they asked me out there to carve their giant pumpkins one fall. Uh, when you're in Las Vegas and people are coming back to see what you do, and uh, the people at the Bellagio said that I was drawing too much attention, uh, that felt really good. I have two favorite gigs in Columbus. Uh, number one is the Columbus Zoo, just because I love doing the animals. I love working with Jack Hanna. Uh, I've been doing that since 2006. The other one has to be Circleville Pumpkin Show. Uh, there really is, that is the quintessential pumpkin event in Ohio. So to be carving there for, for over 10 years has been a highlight. So I started in pumpkins. Uh, my first venture outside of pumpkins was actually in cheese. Uh, when Daddy Wags retired from the radio, they asked me to, if I could carve a bust of him in cheese. So I took a 40 pound block of cheddar and of course I carved it into the likeness of Daddy Wags. I now do butter, cheese, uh, I do vegetables, fruit and vegetables, I even do fiberglass sculpture. You can find me at squashcarver.com. Uh, more recent stuff you can find on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, so forth, all the social media. So 2020 has been interesting uh, with different gigs canceled and so forth. They did an online competition for the butter cow. So of course I had to enter. So seven pounds of butter, I had, later I had a cow and smoky bear behind him. Uh, so it was a lot of fun. People love it for several reasons. Number one, it's a pumpkin. Everybody loves pumpkin carving. But number two is the artwork. Uh, it's, it's both a, a piece of art, a static piece of art when I'm done, but it's also performance art. They come back and they see, oh my gosh, you did that and it looks so much better. I can't believe he's cutting deeper. Wow, that looks great. So uh, of course they, you misspelled that is often uh, the case too, but it's a lot of fun. I enjoy carving for the crowds and, and I enjoy their reaction.